It's like not funny. Why are you laughing? I'm laughing so I won't cry. It's not funny. <sighs> Saddle Ranch, this is a horrible, 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 horrible phase of my life. I don't like to talk about it. This is the one and only time I'll ever talk about it for the remainder of my life. Happy birthday, Drew. <laughs> I basically moved in. Are you ready? Yeah. Born ready. Hey guys, what's up? Look who it is! If you guys didn't see our last video, we're in the middle of filming a little three-part series about our, every time I say divorce, Andrew gets really mad at me. Um, Which one's mine again? This one? Breakup, strong falling out. That one's yours. <laughs> I said you're gonna ask her that. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. I will have the video linked down below where Andrew and I, and I talk about, you know, what happened with um, us, our perspectives, so two completely different stories, they'll be linked down below. Very funny, but now we're gonna talk about it together. Mm -hmm. We've talked about it so many times off camera, though, I'm honestly exhausted, I don't really wanna talk about it. I'll have Andrew's stuff linked down below. You wanna start? Start what? Honestly, we really do agree on everything, kind of, with what happened, though. We do have different stories, but at the, the end of it, we both agree. Yeah. Long story short, watch the video from before. While we're together, we can talk about this briefly and then we'll talk about other things that are more fun and cool. Also, something else that we didn't talk about, the phase of our lives when our friends really hated hanging out with us. Mm -hmm. Every single thing that we say is an inside joke. So if you are not one of us, you can't, it's like a different language. Like you can't really like speak or talk to us. Right. So it was, that was kind of difficult. Um, also, it was just a lack of communication. We really just didn't talk about anything. And if Andrew thinks that talking about things is just, oh, not talking about things. <laughs> and you think that talking about things is arguing over text. Okay, that is not true. And I'm always like, can we meet up in person? Can I come over? And you're like, no, I don't think I would want to see you. <laughs> I'm like, all right then, I guess we're not going to talk about it because every time we talked in text, you twist my shit around and it'd be completely not what I was saying. Guys, when I say that we couldn't talk, like we would literally be like, okay, we're going to talk and we would sit there for four hours and not get a word out. It happened so many times, like it was horrible. We both were just going through like really hard times and as time went on, you just became so like, I don't know how to phrase it. I don't know how to phrase it. I don't know what you're trying to say. I don't really either. I okay, so I think that sometimes you were not the nicest to me. <laughs> That's it. I'm not even gonna say. <laughs> That's pretty much it. So, anyways, what's your favorite thing about me? <laughs> you're very like, driven. So, like, probably like your skills of like planning and organization and work ethic. I don't know if that's what I like most about you, but that's, that's what I respect. Like the most, most about that's what me. I respect most about you, I think. Just so many things, it's hard to think of them. It's really hard to Where think. Where did you make that joke in the other video? Mm. Keep it in, keep it in. I'm the editor. <laughs> like Mariah, keep I it in. I make him a different name every single time. Oh, that's right, what's favorite thing about you? Um, no, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> that's my favorite part of the entire video series. You think it's funny? Hilarious. What, do you get it? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wait, what? You're insane. Stop. And I think you're a psychopath. <laughs> just kind of like, I guess, because um, it's like almost like an emotion thing. It's like we're always like on the same page, you know? Oh, hold on. When have we ever been on the same page? I mean like when we're like around other people. Like I like that we're like, I don't know. We have like a really, like a, like we're just like our like connection with, uh, like we're like, I, I don't that's know how what I'm say. trying to say. I'm, it's like we, we say things where it's like, we, oh, we're like, I mean, and and you know exactly what yeah. I'm talking about without me even like, like we're not saying full sentences. We are a definition of like you don't have to speak to completely understand what the other person saying. You're right. We always are, are in the same mm -hmm. page. Now I know what you can understand. Okay. Yeah, I knew what I was trying to say, but I didn't know how to say it. This is why everyone hates hanging out with us too, mm -hmm. because we're also we're very close. We know each other better than everyone else, and we also are like funnier together. Everything about us is just better. We just have like a really different connection than everyone else does. That's really what it is. Mm -hmm. Like I don't have that with anyone else. Like favorite memory together. Might be Arizona. I was gonna say Arizona. I wish that we vlogged that so bad. Also, I'm kind of glad we didn't though. I'm glad that we didn't because it was just so good. But I wish that we could look back on it. We went on a road trip to Arizona together. Literally, we, went, we drove eight hours one day and then eight hours the next day. But it was so fun. We went last minute. We got like an Airbnb. And then we started Rich Kids of Beverly Hills. Mm -hmm. And we realized that the whole Morgan Brennan thing is actually. Do you keep up with them still? Mm -hmm. Oh, I do. I love them. Love them. Yeah. <laughs> the <laughs> okay, I'll answer the clip. You don't have everything you want? What? That was what? a trick question, you idiot. It is a trick question. <laughs> no, you don't have everything you want? Uh, yeah, yeah, I have everything I want. 
So what's the trick question about that? Well, yeah, I'm just saying, I was just, I didn't know you were talking about us. I'm always talking about us. <laughs> Are you not always talking about us? Okay, I will. Well, <laughs> You're hot, it's hot, right? I mean, it's a little warm, yeah. Morgan and I bicker, and it's it's always flirtatiously, and, and I think that it just comes from an overall understanding from each other. Brendan, I've made you a better person in every way. Okay. You, you lost Who it else home. is going to deal with all this craziness? He's nuts, too. I just took a mental note that I'm not everything Brendan wants. <laughs> I just made a mental note that, like that one. <laughs> I just made a mental note that I'm not everything. That I'm not everything. Really <laughs> the thing is, though, like yes, that is me in the situation, but that's something that you would say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say that. Mm -hmm. Just, just like for reference, though, this entire video, like you can see, I'm just sitting here like trying to figure out what the fuck she's trying to say, and she's like, "But you agree, right?" And I'm like. I don't know, Kenzie. You make it seem like you're way more far removed from the situation than you are. One. Two, sorry we had to change. The diva needed to charge his phone in my chair. Yeah, 5%. Three, um, literally right before, he was like, that's actually how I feel. The, like, I just took a mental note thing. He's like, I don't know do That's how I feel. Which, by the way, I'm also your, like, number one supporter, so that's kind of harsh. Okay. But, um, yeah, Andrew loves Safa. He's a lot more far removed than he is. He's not, but. I asked Andrew if he regrets how things ended or how things happened and he doesn't because we both grew from it it's, it's like what we needed and you don't you don't regret it right right so i wish that we would have handled it better but i also think that it had to be a blow up really bad ending for us to actually like leave each other for a second because it, it needed to take that for us to be like okay we're not doing like this is it mm -hmm. that's the only thing that could have happened and then we needed to move far apart from each other that was helpful mm -hmm. that was a really helpful thing so Drew used to make jokes about how we were long distance when we lived less than a mile from each other, but now we actually are. So that was your joke too, by the way. Wow. He's really happy to be here. He's exhausted. He actually is happy to be here. He keeps smiling and laughing, but he's just exhausted. And yeah. So I get what you're saying. I wish that it wouldn't have been so bad and unhealthy just in the sense of like, I cared about you and the friendship and myself. It wasn't good for any of the three. I guess I have regrets over the fact that like, it sucks that it wasn't healthy. Maybe I don't regret it actually. It wasn't healthy, wish it was healthy, but I don't regret the way that it ended because that's the only possible outcome. Yeah, but I don't think that you would have. Maybe later, maybe if it went on for like a few months, but you're just someone, you're very like, in that time, not anymore, like you're pretty complacent, so you'll just like. I don't know what that word means. Exactly. So I decided to look up the definition of complacent. Complacent means please, especially with oneself or one's merits, advantages, situation, etc. often without awareness of some potential danger or defect, self-satisfied. Can you the sentence? <laughs> yeah. Basically, it just, to me, it, like, being complacent is you were just, like, not going to do anything to, like, make it better your life. Okay. Um. <laughs> Can you stop? <laughs> Something I will say, though, is I am very proud of Sorry, wait. You're what? <laughs> I am. No, I really am. I'm like, I'm very proud of you. You're just mm -hmm. very, you have grown. Sick. <laughs> Shut up. Like, Andrew would never talk about his emotions before. He had to have um, something to help him talk about his emotions before. Now, like, you will talk about things. Like, the other night when we filmed his interview, it got, like, emotional and you actually apologized. Like, I never thought that I would get that apology mm -hmm. ever like I was like I will never get the it's one of those things where it's like you know the apology which like for both of us but I've apologized a bunch it was like the apology well, that's that the thing like you always used to tell me you never apologize um like I'll never get like apology whatever and I'm like I'll apologize if I think I'm wrong and like I realized that I'm I was wrong in that situation yeah great. that's why you don't ever hear apologies from me though because I'm like why am I wrong not the best quality, Drew. I think you're an amazing person, but maybe you should work on that. Please stop. I don't know. Like, there's only a few times where I've seen you, like, emotional like that. Mm -hmm. And it was, like, surprising. I never thought that I would get that apology. And it wasn't just one thing. It was, like, a few things. Mm -hmm. I never thought that I would ever get that apology. And I did. Mm -hmm. And I was shocked. And I didn't, like, need it anymore. But it was so cool of you to, like, mm -hmm. do it. And that's not something you would have done before. Cool. Anything else we need to talk about? Let's just switch it to fist bump. Look, I'm tanner than you right now. Ow, fuck. What the hell? What? <laughs> Stop! I hate when you do that. 
he does all the time. Like, you'll just go like this and in public, and he, like, will flinch and act like you punched him. <laughs> it's not funny at all. Okay, these are qualities in each other. That, um, you're very stubborn, but I'm also stubborn. But you're stubborn. I will apologize even if I don't think it's my fault. Mm -hmm. You won't. Mm -hmm. Ever and you love to place blame on everyone else it used to be that you couldn't share your emotions mm -hmm. And you're getting a lot better at that. Mm -hmm. That's a big thing That's it. So anyways, um, you don't have to do mine <laughs> so... For the next segment of the video Andrew and I are gonna face from our friends and see if they're happy to see us together Who should we call first? Uh, Sean yeah. Well that answers it. How do you how do you feel about this? I This is pretty boring. I thought you were gonna say something bad. Yeah, say something bad about Say me. something bad, yeah. Oh, Thank you, that's what all I needed. Alright, I'll see you tonight, girl. I can't believe you're hanging out with Bye. Me. Well, oh, ladies and gents, we're getting a call. Hey Joe. Hey Joe. We just wanted a live reaction of what you think of me and Drew being friends again. Don't hold back. That's it. Andrew and I lived in the penthouse once. Good times. Were they really? <laughs> okay, so um, none of our friends were FaceTiming, so we had to show up unannounced to Mason's <laughs> so we could get someone's reaction. They literally didn't know we were no, coming. <laughs> and the reactions were not that good. They didn't seem to be that exci excited. Excited? <laughs> that's so weird. I know. I think that's so odd. So we're at Mason's getting his live reaction. I don't think it really matters what Mason says. Honestly, we can just skip that part. <laughs> So taking into account all things that happened went well. Also, another important thing to know is that we don't really get offended by what people say because we've never really listened to them anyways, which may be why we got ourselves Maybe if we into did listen to our friends. <laughs> yeah, but we just never really have. Do you like my earrings? You talking to me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank God. Okay, okay. Hey! Oh, hey! Hey! What do you think? About the series? Just about us being friends again. Oh. I think you guys are good together, but I also think, like I was just thinking about this as I was walking up to my apartment, I don't, not, I don't really talk to Drew that much, but Kenzie, you've changed so much since you lived in downtown LA, and I just feel like you guys are both in a better spot now, you know? Wow, I thought you were going to say something like meaner. You're the only supportive person you're the you only, so It's convenient, yeah, well, Molly's my number one supporter, so that <laughs> would make sense. Wait, I thought you were just going to tell them that our friends are actually supportive. Yes, our friends are actually supportive. This is really just a joke for anyone who thinks this is actually really unhealthy. It, mm, yeah. Okay. Um, they hung up a few well, times. Some of, us, some of them didn't pick up. Some of them hung up immediately, and some of them told her not to hang out with me. Yeah. Oh my God, Drew, I'm sorry. People are bullying. Well, it's fine. It was Taylor King. She was. She wasn't serious. And we forced her to say it. Yeah. We wanted more drama. Everyone's we, being we way nicer than line. we thought. Yeah. Yeah, we fed her a line. Oh I know your eyelashes look incredible, though. When are you gonna be in LA next? Just says your address. Yeah, thank you for that. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna beep it out and then I'm gonna put your address over it. Okay. Yeah. Drew and I have a shared playlist, and you can't make it public because it's collaborative. But we've shared a playlist for like ever. Okay. A heartbreak in mid-December. You don't give up. You never remember me. This is the This one goes out to Sean Castro. <laughs> We still talk like every day But we don't talk in the same way that we used to We could never see eye to eye I'm like her cause she's smart Has drawn and independent She puts me in my place But I don't know where I stand I bust her on the nerve to tell her I'll never forget her She'll always have a part of me Cause you gotta be safe. 
Think about as you lie awake. I'll be your biggest fan and you'll be mine. This one, love song. Oh, this one's courtesy of James. Thanks, James. Oh, I like you in some time. Mobile to wear out with our dog and our children. Shit, I'm in no rush. This is the one I was trying to think of. Boys in your head, that's it. You got time before you figure it out. Begging God to rid my head of every word you've ever spoken. With all the moments I was eating you alive, waiting with the hope that say you ever love me or even tell me that you cared. I know I couldn't give you much, but I know I gave my best. You were always my princess, and now he's sliding up your dress. He cash said love would burn, I never thought it hurt this bad. You said you'd always love me, do you not tell the truth at all? It's having me already. Oh, embarrassing on my end, I'm so sorry. Night, if I could find you now, things would get better. Oh, okay. Okay, so, um, unfortunately, the camera died right as he was about to do falsetto, so if this video gets 10,000 thumbs up, we will do a day in the life swap, is that what it's called? I think so, yeah. Day in the life swap to where Drew will live a day in my life and I will live a day in his life, which is my worst nightmare. So then he'll do falsetto in that video, right? Oh, probably not, no. Well, you could live a day in my life and you can do the full soda. No, not happening. So, hope you guys enjoy. That is the end of the series. Follow Andrew's Instagram. Subscribe to Drew. Is that cool. it? Do you have anything you want to say? No. Are you glad we're friends again? Oh, yeah. That was so fake. <laughs> I'll try it again. Are you glad we're friends again? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Love you guys. Right. Bye. Do you have something you want to say? Okay, yeah. I just wanted to say that <laughs> the two videos that make me look like such an asshole. <laughs> Um, I'm not actually a dick. I really do care about Kenzie, and, um, I don't know, we were just go both going through a lot of shit, and so this was the result, and, yeah. Wow, an angel. Sometimes you were an asshole, but... <laughs> oh, yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> okay, tomorrow, our, um, relationship advice video goes live, and he hasn't seen it yet. It, it kind of turns into, like, couples therapy, but, like, for ourselves. Mm -hmm. It's like, we're, we just, we bring it back to ourselves a lot. Okay. The whole video. Well, it's yeah. very funny. Um, subscribe if you guys want to see it. Let us know if you guys are liking these. Um, oh, I already said all this stuff. Okay, bye.